All right, so as you can see, I just placed on the camo netting that I created for the max loader. So it should help it blend it in a little bit better. And I got this as the sheath. I want to show it before I camo it up. So you got the arm pads defending it. You got the spot where you put the metadime itself in. And then I'm going to cover it up with the same netting. So I only have it connected to two places. So if I lift it up, you can kind of see what's going on below it. So you got the arm pads. And as you noticed, I somewhat put these push pins into it. So I actually have bubble wrap underneath it, adding to that armor rating. So if I get hit, it's more likely to bounce. Plus I have that camo on it. You got the slot for the extra tank there in case I want to run the metadime today. I run that off of a very small tank, very light. And what's going on over here it is you got double tank slots. I'm going to be changing that up hopefully soon. Uh, I could get it down to one tank. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm going to switch out guns. So hopefully that issue will be solved in its own. We go over here. So these are the smoke bombs. These are like a thing to put smoke bombs in. Right in there. And then what I created over here is these are for grenades. So this is a custom system. So what you do is you put the grenade in there. And when you want to pull it out, you lift up, releasing it from here. And you pull down, which will pull the cap off for you. So it's a cap puller. That'll also protect your pins so you don't actually get caught on something and you'll have a higher chance of getting that grenade to where it needs to be without issues. Um, I've also had it had a um, mag pouch over here, but I'm looking to get rid of that eventually. Uh, as I upgrade to the guns, I shouldn't need that anymore. And if you go back over here, you got the... Um, this is for water, so all I gotta do is lift this up and I can access this. This whole system is made to expand, so this will expand with it, so it's not going anywhere. Um, the way I got this to work is I pretty much have a bunch of uh, super glue I've used to fuse it into itself. I've also used a bunch of Velcro, as you can see, like the arm pads. They have Velcro systems to where they can hook up to that. Same thing with these guys, but more on the lower section here. And I've also cut into the arm pads themselves, linking it up to these tie wrap systems. So it's like a tie wrap on a tie wrap. Sort of like how I'm holding this guy right here. It's just a tie wrap I'm using. So also we got the, let's see, what else we got here? We got some uh, additional tie wraps on the front. So these are for like smaller smoke bombs. These, um, I've adjusted them for three different sizes. So you'll be able to do like the um, Enola Gay that shoots flames in both directions. Well, not flames, but I mean uh, smoke. You can do the smaller ones. You can do the battlefield, like the small battlefield smoke bombs that they allow at scrimmage only which is a pretty um, cool feature right there. I could get about three of them on there. And these guys are on both sides, by the way. Uh, I've also have it, you know, like, so you got the normal hose that comes out the front and you got your wiring. Uh, I've modified this thing so many times, you might know there's a little, little bit of red and I got my logo there for the assassins. It's changed so many times that I just kind of built over it. So you can't really see parts of that. I also had my own logo. Well, not logo, but number on the back. You're not going to see that anymore, but that's just something more. And uh, yeah, I tried to paint over some of those tie wraps to make it look a little less wonky. But with uh, the camo netting, it shouldn't even matter anymore. So you just put that over. And then you're back to kind of blending in. A little bit better um this was just a bag for potatoes that i sprayed over and then tie wrapped to the thing all right that's it for now